Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, over the last few weeks, John McDonnell has been using his interviews around the budget to set out Labour's economic strategy, borrowing hundreds of billions of pounds for infrastructure spending, nationalising key industries like rail and water, some of that done and borrowed money too, also buying back PFI contracts, another tens of billions of pounds. But the Shadow Chancellor has repeatedly refused to put a number on what all that would cost and exactly how much more it would cost in debt repayments. Just look at this. How much is that going to cost? Right. What we've said, and this is very clear cut, and I said it before, when you take them over... I'm looking for a number. OK, OK, you, well, you don't need a number. By how much does the okay. economy need to go for right. your plans okay. to work? OK, let me just go through, because people need to understand what we're saying, because a lot of figures have been bandied around. I'm um, just looking for so one. What OK, figure would okay you I'll give you a figure. All right. What we're saying is we invest £250 billion over a 10-year programme, so about £25 billion mm. a year. How much do we now spend on paying the interest in our national debt? A lot, a lot. How much? Well, I'll give you the figure and I'll send you a note on the figure. The how, well, how, you don't know? Well, I know the figure, but I haven't got it in front much? of me. I'll send it. You tell me now. If you were elected today, how much above 48 billion would we pay to service our debt next year? Well, it's absolutely minimum because it would be returned rapidly to you. And that's about What's investment overpaid. Well, I'm telling you, it pays for itself. Have you got a number for us now, no, roughly well, what the interest bill would be? No, let me explain okay. to you, Robert, if I can. The point I'm trying to get at is that we do not want figures bandied around about future investment, interest rates at a later date, that will then be used to frighten people off from properly supporting investment. We all understand that the figure will shift depending on the share price and, yeah. and other factors. But why don't you just tell us how much it would cost right now? Because the debate is about whether or not it is cost effective. All I'm asking for is how much would it cost today to do what it you're proposing at some point? It would be cost free because it pays for itself. Well, Andy McDonald, you are the Shadow Transport Secretary, and I assume that a lot of the infrastructure spending that your Shadow Chancellor talked about would fall into your area. We all want to have a better transport infrastructure. But we also need to know how much more we're going to borrow. Now, you're going to borrow 250 billion over a period of time for infrastructure. Uh, you're going to borrow to nationalise. That could be another couple of hundred billion. And you're going to take the PFI contracts back under state control. That's another couple of hundred billion. So roughly how much a year extra would you have to borrow to do all this? Well, in, in transport, we will bring the uh, railway back into public ownership. And that will cost us zero, Andrew. That's because be... you'll wait for the leases to expire. Yeah, and we'll stop giving uh, two billion pound bailouts to Stagecoach and Virgin, like they did last week, and tried to give us Mr. Mirrors right. about reversing beaching. But you cuts won't be able to do that with water. The country off. You won't be able to do that with water because no. it's assets you're buying there, and you won't be able to do that with uh, energy. So when you add it together, how much extra borrowing will you need to do? It's impossible to say. Can you tell me what the cost of the water companies will be in 2022? Well, I can tell you what the cost is now because they've got a market cap and there could be an election next year. You're on an election footing. You could be implementing this, this next year. So you must have a ballpark figure to know you're going to have to go to the bond markets to borrow all this. We're already borrowing a ton of money. We've got 1.8 trillion of national but debt. Andrew, How you, much more would you borrow? Well, you can't put a figure on that at the moment. It's not po possible to do it. What you do so is a menu you, without you're prices. You're acquiring. Well, the, the point being, you're acquiring an asset, and you know that you've got that, so it's a neutral transaction, and you're getting the income from that asset. You know, people are getting sick and tired of getting ripped off by energy companies and yeah. saying which gas is better. EDF. Does that smell any better? than Scottish power or what have you. They want the gas coming into their cooker. They want to switch the light on. That's not more pretty than the but other one. You may be acquiring the asset, but you're borrowing to acquire that asset, and I'm asking you how much will you have to borrow to do so? You, you, you can't say. John's given a very cl clear answer. He's not given an answer he at has. all. He's addressed it absolutely fundamentally. It's the principles of acquiring <coughs> the asset, and it cost, it'll cost what it costs. And it's a question of negotiation at, at the relevant time. We're not in government, Andrew. No, but and you could we, well be in absolutely. government within the next six months. Yes. Uh, that's why your party's I on an election 
footing. Yeah. So at the very least, you're going to borrow 25 billion a year for infrastructure spending. It could be another 20, 25 Upon billion. Upon which you get a return. So if you're investing in, in infrastructure, you know that you get a benefit cost ratio oh. that grows our economy, grows ah, our but, tax. But grows receipts. the economy is the overall growth in the economy. You don't get that money back. Well, of course, uh, it, no, you, don't, you don't get the, the money treasury, back into Andrew. the governor, it government into coffers. The treasury. Of course it does. Well, all by, the economic growth. In, but with people being employed, uh, being more productive, of course But that how has do a you benefit. know it will cover the cost? You still have to cover the cost of borrowing. Well, 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 you do, but you've also got an income stream from the very assets that you've acquired. So it works through. But with I that income see... stream, with that income stream, on all these industries you said to nationalise, you said the consumer's been ripped off. Yeah. So you're yeah. going to cut prices. That will reduce the income stream well, you think, uh, for a start. Hold on, hold on. A good idea. Yeah, but you cannot slash prices, increase investment, and pay the interest lift, on the debt. How lift, could you do that? People out of inequality and poverty. Ask the, I mean, answer the no, question. No, that, that's the fundamental. When people are going through and they're getting ripped off. At no, every now you're just falling back on no, rhetoric. I'm, I'm asking not, you. No, it's more than rhetoric. No, no, this is it is just rhetoric important. because because everybody will be poorer if you can't finance this debt and you can't get the bonds away. So I ask again, how can you slash prices as you've promised to do, increase investment? and generate the revenues that will finance and service the debt. Because How can you, you do that? If you don't have shareholders to obey and serve no. and pay out massive dividends to people, you've got an asset in that hand, you've, you, you've, you've got the borrowing to acquire and, the asset, uh, and the revenue Andy stream McDonald, comes in. You'll, it's not difficult. You'll have bondholders. You'll yes. have bondholders whose debt you will have to service. Yes. And if you cannot do that well, or you issue too many, the bond prices will collapse and they will dump the bonds. Well, so you have to service the debt. You've got to get it right. You've got to get the price of it right. Really? But that's why we can't, we can't get that discussion here and now about what the precision of this is going to be. It's impossible. But the basic principle is utterly sound. And it's one that we'll follow in government. Our viewers will decide. I've been